Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. I hope you've all had uh, a lovely Christmas and well if you haven't uh, guessed by the title I'm going to do a Christmas collection update. Basically everything that I got, uh, not just Doctor Who, I'm going to show everything. So this will be broken down into categories which is figures, DVDs, uh, vinyls, soundtracks, you know that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah let's get into it. So yeah something that you obviously get every Christmas well uh, diabetes. So, um, I have already opened a box of Quality Street, uh, which has been more well, obviously lovely. And I also got roses, jelly babies, and wine gums, which I'm very uh, impressed by. I'm gonna have a guess and say there's two bags of each in here. And, uh, Well, the Haribo that I'm sharing with someone, so yeah. Next up, clothes. Now, uh, I haven't really, uh, well, not tried these on yet, but they're all folded. And I don't want to unfold them, so basically what's in here is. So we have uh, a new pair of jeans, which uh, I actually, these were to replace an old pair that basically got uh, ripped on the knee part. So I had to rip the other knee to also make it look like, you know, that sense of fashion where uh, ripped clothing. I'm not really into ripped clothing, but for the sake of keeping a, you know, a pair of jeans that are worth 40 quid. You know. But I uh, got them replaced, which um, I'm happy about. Uh, this nice cream coloured shirt. And this black and white and grey checkered shirt. And also, uh, these lovely new brown boots for the winter, which I absolutely adore because they remind me of something that John Pertwee would wear. Uh, next up, I'm going to call this random shite section. I don't really know. These are sort of a mix of things. So, uh, I got this uh, Friends candle. Uh, you're the Rachel to my Monica. If anyone gets that reference, then well, well done you. And it's basically just uh, lemon rose scented. Uh, not really into candles, but because it's Friends and you know you get sort of like smelly stuff for Christmas, I really appreciate it. So, and that just smells lovely. Uh, next up was a new pair of Bluetooth headphones. Not really into Bluetooth, but these have uh, the uh, aux connection. Uh, so I'm happy enough with that, and I needed a new sort of headwear anyway. So yeah, and actually really lovely. And this box is very well presented. It reminds me of like a bloody collector's item. But yeah, very, very lovely. Uh, next up is... Uh, where are we? Yes. A box of Fakuk um, that has deodorant and hair and body wash. Um, next up, we have. Actually, that's it for the random section, so we'll go on to vinyls and books. Next up, we have. Doctor Who and the Monster Vault, which was a book that's been on my list for a good 14-ish months now, and I finally got it. And obviously it's been reduced from 30 quid to 16 quid, and this book is absolutely wonderful. I adore it. Yeah, obviously there's some Tarans, you've got Solitract, Skifra, Sea Devils, uh, Rutans. <laughs> Quarks, yeah, Pating, Subriefer there, Prisoner of Zero, Praxius, Oud, Ogrons, Augury, Nucleus, The Swarm, uh, I saw a name on there. Basically, if you want a guide to every single Doctor Who Mouse that's pretty much ever been, up to Series 12 that is, then this book is also perfect. There's Mara, Macra. Like, I fucking love this book, and all the artworks for these monsters are absolutely gorgeous. Like, this is fantastic. Really well done, really impressed with it, and I can't wait to start reading that. So, next up is uh, two vinyls, which I was not expecting to get, and there shouldn't be an address on these. <laughs> no, there's no address, okay. So we have Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon vinyl, which is very, very cool. 
actually went to see them in the concert uh, not too long ago, so that's kind of the reason why I ended up with it. And we have uh, Jeff Wayne's musical version of The War. The World's obviously the classic science fiction, uh, basically, Earth Invasion story by H.G. Wells. This threw me off, but I have looked through it and it's very lovely and I can't wait to listen to it because, well, I do want to get into uh, H.G. Wells stuff. And the best vinyl, of course, the most recent um, vinyl in this range, I think, might be Ice Wars, but the Myth Makers vinyl, which I'm so fucking happy to have because i wanted this ever since it was announced because this is one of my favorite hartnell stories and yeah it is so bloody gorgeous i would take it a vinyl but it's a pain in the arse um but i'm pretty sure if you've seen the pictures online you'll know what this looks like uh so yeah a broken walking dead season seven or six i don't remember we'll get back to this Next up, as well, I do like some new uh, media. So, we have in here, if I could just quickly grab things, uh, because this is basically sort of, you know, part of music. Queen, uh, greatest hits on CD. Now, I got the vinyl for this out of an antique shop, and it was £5, which I was very happy about. Obviously, it's not too hard to get, but like apparently the modern version is more expensive, so... And I told my dad about it, and he was disheartened that I got it. Obviously, he hadn't told me, because he already bought me the CD. So, I do not need to open this. I'm just going to keep it sealed. But it's still nice to have it, even though I'm always going to listen to it on vinyl. Uh, next up, we have the Sarah Jane Adventures, finally. Which, again, I'm very happy to own. Obviously, the complete collection, seasons 1 to 5. I will start watching it soon. And probably special features on it as well. But, yeah. So happy to have this because I did really want it. And that's my spin-offs complete. Next up we have Transformers, the classic animated series. So this is every episode from 1984 to 1987. Obviously uh, the movie's not on here because that's not an episode. So it's uh, four seasons, 95 episodes. Uh, and I'm not going to open this because the, the, the way it's packed is kind of shitty but very happy to have this and they're all remastered which is lovely this is the most recent if you want a complete collection of the transformers episodes of the original this is like the most recent set that you can uh, buy where it's all in one go uh, next up we have the com Next up, Doctor Who. So I got the Galaxy 4 DVD. So that brings me up to date with obviously every classic DVDs have been released. Because obviously I got the Steelbook first. The Complete Sex Series. Yay! Oh, we love Series 6. Uh, just, yeah, this is the Complete Matt Smith, really. Uh, this wonderful story. Yeah, you can really tell I was putting these releases off because I'm not a fan of them. Um, sexist cunts. Um, anyway... And, of course, the complete Eleventh series on Blu-ray. I've decided I want to get the Jodie. The only part of the new series I want to get on Blu-ray is Jodie because the era currently looks so stunning as it is. It just looks even... And I popped a disc in and, yeah, oh, my God, it looks just so much better on Blu-ray as well. So, yeah, there's Doctor Who. Next up, we have the uh, Train Spotting 2. So I look forward to re-watching this alongside number one. We have Fear of the Walking Dead, season two. I've already got season one on DVD. And we're going to go back, uh, Walking Dead Heavy, the complete fifth season. Series six. Series seven. And most exciting of all, series eight on Steelbook. Now, this is nearly four years old, and of course it's long discontinued. Uh, basically, <laughs> uh, m a family member was looking for it, obviously for me, and they managed to find it on eBay for 11 quid. And there's someone on eBay at the moment who is selling these off for 11 quid, so if you want a Walking Dead seriously at Steelbook, go and get it. This Steelbook's worth about 70 to 100 quid sealed. 
So I'm not going to open this. This is staying sealed. But yeah, I love this. Um, it really surprised me. Uh, and actually, we have a little TARDIS coaster, which I completely forgot about. And I'm sure the one thing all of us Doctor fans are probably unwrapping this Christmas, the absolutely gorgeous season uh, 17, which I've already delved into. I have watched the new Destiny of the Daleks making of. I've watched the Behind the Sofas for uh, the first three stories. I am about to watch Part 6 of Shada. And uh, what as well... Uh, watch some of the uh, all other features like Blue Peter, Watson Wogan, uh, Photo Gallery, and fine, that's it so far. But I've only had it since uh, Saturday, but I started watching it on Sunday morning. But yeah, loving it so far, really good. Uh, season 17, not too keen on this season, uh, but uh, the special features are definitely making up for it. But yeah, gorgeous season 17. And last, but definitely not least, uh, figures. So, I got another Sensorites pack. Uh, this is my fourth one. Uh, not scalping these, I just purely love these fucking Sensorite figures. And I've been making all the different costume variants. And I actually need to make one more for the lot, which is basically uh, just a star of Sensorite, so it's removing the sash off him. And uh, that's it. And it'll, I'll need to swap the head as well, because obviously this has the more grey beard. Not a first doctor that I don't know what to do with. But yeah, sounds right set, you know, very cool, glad to have it. Um, yeah, these are now 12 99 so that's kind of the main reason why I got it. And when it goes down to £10, I'm going to get another. So yeah, uh, the second Doctor from Tomb of the Siren Men, the 2009 one, which uh, I'm so very happy to own, and thank you very much to the person who got me this, you know who you are. Um, but yeah, this figure is so cool. It's my favourite figure that I got for Christmas, definitely. It's just... It's just lovely, you know, getting one of these old, proper, well-detailed and well-done figures. You know, just a sign of how good this time was. Uh, and was there... I feel like there was another figure. Thing. Oh, yes, of course. We have... Well, they're not really, like, figures, but, you know, they're part of this range, I guess. It's the Dalek Invasion uh, figures multi-pack, which I actually got a while ago. But basically, I passed it on to someone to just give it to me for Christmas. Obviously, they've just released a second set of this, which appeared out of nowhere. And it is a fucking rip-off, because they've re-released two of these ones. And you basically, it's a four-pack again, when you think about it, for repaints. 15 quid, but then another 15 pound on top of that for basically two re-releases, and it's 30 quid overall. I know it's because of the fancy packaging, but it's absolutely ridiculous. You're like, you're better off buying two of these and painting your own ones. So, yeah, uh, pretty shitty of them in my opinion. But yeah, I do I do like these, uh, these ones, so it's cool to have them back. And I actually got... This now you you might be thinking, hmm, don't you already have this? Well, I do. I got another first Doctor and Taurus set again, not the scalps so of triple the price. I just really love this set so much that I've decided, do you know what? With having the five Doctor set and having to get both versions of that Man, I want to do an updated third Doctor and Taurus, and I'm thinking of doing a custom showcase, um, painting video. So obviously this is going to get repainted into the correct light blue. I'll alter anything I need to. And the third dot, well, I'm going to obviously repaint the red jacket to be the proper one. I want to do an updated set of that original third dot and Taurus. And also, uh, I'm going to be making the first dot into a web planet uh, variant, which I'm very excited to make. So yeah. And I didn't get these on Christmas, but I thought I might as well just chuck them in. We have the History of the Daleks set. Uh, oh. I, oh, I meant to bring in a sealed one. Well, <laughs> I've done that wrong. Apologies. We have History of the Daleks set six here. Uh, obviously, I've took the figures out. But obviously, the more important thing from this set is the people, which I'm really loving. Uh, this evil set is actually pretty good, considering we've just had the animation recently. And, of course, History set eight, which is meant to be the one that I've still not opened, if you've watched my previous uh, Hunting B&M figures video. 
uh, but I've grabbed the wrong box, so apologies. Um, but obviously here's history city, and you will know what these look like. But yeah, that's what I got for figures. So yeah, it's a nice army building, lovely new Daleks. Can't wait to make this TARDIS custom, and obviously the Patrick Trent figure being my absolute favourite thing. So yeah, that is everything I got for Christmas this year. Hope you all enjoyed. I don't know what the next video is going to be, but yeah. I, oh, actually, I'm planning on making B and M reviews soon, and of the second Dots and Taurus. Those will probably be the next lot. But yes, yeah, I've really got to say. So hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.